Once again, we're using my personal account, and this time I'm going to demonstrate how to create an entry into your food journal. So we are moving on to nutrition. So once again, we are going to press our hamburger button, and now we're going to press nutrition, and it defaults to your food journal, which is today, okay? And it's real straightforward. Um, you probably don't really need a tutorial, but we're going to do your demo and anyways so we're gonna press this plus button and we're gonna add a menu so now if you notice premium users get this smart suggest it for meal one it's gonna give you suggestions on your history or menus that you created um, through the menu module so if you did menu presets you will have that listed suggested here as well exclusively for meal one if you press meal two you will get suggestions for meal two that's what's unique about our application so for example if I didn't eat this type of oatmeal I don't see anything uh, in my suggestions I could type in oat press go and I will get items that are in my database in our primary database now keep in mind you have two databases here this is one that I inputted myself which you know took a took a while but once you input it in uh, there's no more legwork anymore so it makes it easier once you get you populate your database but um, we provide at least 168 items or close to 200 items that are common foods but keep in mind you do have a second database here but let's go ahead and say we found our quake roads and this is volume is one cup I didn't eat one cup I ate half a cup so we're gonna do 0.5 and we're going to press plus. Okay, so now you have quick rolls. Let's go ahead and add blueberries. Okay, blueberries is right here. I'm going to use this feature. And we did one ounce. Okay, and it stays in this window if you want to keep inputting information. But just to confirm that it's there, let's go ahead and press journal at the top. And you'll see blueberries has been entered. Okay, so we're moving on to meal two. Uh, let's say we had a yogurt, and let's go ahead and type yogurt, yog. Keep in mind, you want to do one word search. Uh, you don't want to do a full phrase because it will have a hard time finding your items. We have six results. Uh, let's go ahead and choose, let's see, this top one right here, the Greek yogurt, and add that to meal two. So it's straightforward to add foods into your journal if of course you press this clipboard you will get the total for the meal or you will get total for the item if you press the item clipboard okay and deleting is self-explanatory you can just go ahead and highlight those and then delete on the bottom on the bottom you have the totals for the day so so far you see in the orange those are the goals that you set in your profile so as you can see I only have 279 calories for the first two meals I needed bump it up for my meal three four and five and six okay so you could also input items on a different day just by pressing these arrows you could input items in the future of course you probably don't want to do that um, so that's how you use the journal one of the quickest ways to do it but let me show you what happens when you don't have an item so we want to input on this day and let's type in hummus. Okay, and let's say we only have one, okay, we only have one item, and we don't like that item. You have extended uh, search capabilities, so let's press that, and it automatically takes you to the extended database and press the search button again. And you notice now I have two items. Now for some items you you might have multiple items. For beef, you're gonna have hundreds of items. So you want to be specific on what you're looking for. And let's go ahead and, and do the commercial version. And how much? One ounce, two ounces. Let's say we did two ounces this time, and press plus, and that will go directly to your journal. Okay. So if you notice, a little blurry there. I'm on Saturday, and meal one was hummus. Well, that's an awful breakfast, actually. But you guys get the idea. Uh, that's how you input items in your journal. Inputting in the menus is fairly the same. So let's go and move on to the next 